Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, we have two cars, a Porsche and a Honda, and they're going to race in a 400 meter race. The Porsche's acceleration is faster at 3.5 meters per second squared, and the Honda only has an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. Because the Porsche has the faster acceleration, we're going to give it a 100 meter head start. So it's obviously starting from 300 meters instead of the 400. They tell us that we're going to somewhat unrealistically assume that both of the cars can maintain that acceleration the whole time, and so we need to figure out who wins and by how much. So for the Porsche, the total delta x is going to be the whole race, so 400 meters. Its acceleration is 3.5 meters per second squared, and the initial velocity at the beginning of the race is starting at rest, so it will be 0 meters per second. For the Honda, the delta x is only 300. It gets a 100 meter head start. The acceleration is 3 meters per second squared, and the initial velocity will also be 0 meters per second. What we're trying to find for both of the cars is obviously the time. So as we look at the kinematic equations, we need to find one that includes time and has all of these other variables given. The one that we'll be using is x final is equal to x initial plus the initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times time squared. The initial velocity for both of the cars is zero, so we can get rid of that. And now what we're trying to do is isolate t. So let's subtract both sides of the equation with x initial. So we have x final minus x initial is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. X final minus X initial is the same thing as saying delta X. Now you could leave it like this if you want and put 300 and 100 or 400 and zero, but let's change it to delta X because we already know what the delta X is for both of the cars. So that will be equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by two, or in other words, two over one, the reciprocal of the one half. We'll multiply that by 2. So that will cancel. And we have 2 times delta x is equal to acceleration times t squared. Divide both sides of the equation by acceleration. Come up here. And t squared is going to be equal to 2 times delta x divided by acceleration. Take the square root of both sides, of course. And now we have t is equal to the square root of 2 times delta x divided by a. So now that we have our final equation, all we have to do is do it twice, one for each car, to see who does it in a faster time. So for the Porsche, we have t is equal to the square root of 2 times the delta x for the Porsche is 400 meters for the entire race, and we'll divide that by its acceleration of 3.5 meters per second squared. I'm going to write both of them down so we can do them at the same time in the calculator and t is going to be equal to 2 times 300 meters divided by a slower acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. So for the Porsche we have the square root of 2 times 400 divided by 3.5 gives us a time of 15, we'll just round down to 15 seconds, and now we'll do the exact same thing for the Honda. And so we have 2 times a delta x of 300 divided by the slower acceleration of 3 meters per second. So 10 root 2, let's change that to a decimal. So 14 seconds. So for the Honda, it was able to do the race in 14 seconds. The Porsche obviously did the race in 15 seconds. So the Honda wins the race, and it wins it by one second.